All right, welcome back to the podcast today. Very special guest, number 40, 40th pick for the Philadelphia Eagles, Cooper DeGene. How are you doing today? I'm great, man. I appreciate you having me. I appreciate you coming on. This is Absolutely. Uh, I couldn't think of a better fit for my first <laughs> Eagles player than than you. Um, yeah. I do want to I do want to ask what what for you what do you think has been mispronounced more, Dejean or OABCIG at this uh, point? That's that's tough. It's it's probably it's probably pretty, pretty close. I mean, I've heard so many different pronunciations of my name, but there's people who just like who can't put all the all the letters it together. It doesn't compute for people. <laughs> I doesn't. know. They just, they just can't. They you know, jumble it up so much, and uh, it's it's amazing to see how they can put letters in or switch letters around. I know, I know. I've I've heard letters that you know you wouldn't even think of being in there that that people put in there sometimes. But you no. Know. What what has what has this been like the past couple of weeks for you? Yeah, it's it's uh it's been it's been crazy. Um, you know, going from the end of the football season, training for the draft, rehabbing, and then, you know, draft day is the day you, you wait for, um, you know, something I've dreamed of since I was a kid, you know, you waited your whole life for that day. And then don't go the first day, then you gotta wait another day to figure out where you're going. Cause you don't, you don't, you know, you don't get to pick like in, like in high school, going to college, you don't get to pick where you're going. So um really the biggest thing was just me figuring out where I where I was going and and getting that down you know and then you know being being around the facility being around the guys now um is you know just meeting everybody's been been new um but it's it's been a lot of fun you know the past 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 few months you know just just taking it all in yeah you mentioned rehab rehabbing a little bit um how was that mentally for you I mean, because your season comes to an end before you want it to. Uh, how was that mentally going through an injury like that? Yeah, it was. It was tough. It was my like my first like major major injury where I had to miss a lot of time. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so I I didn't really know what to expect. You know, going into the whole whole process. You know, but I I just try to stay as as positive as as I can. You know, take it day by day because like things like like a broken bone you can't things like that you can't rush you know um you know but it was it got pretty frustrating because like there would be days you you feel really good and then for a couple of days and then you know a day after that that you it just hurts again like hurts to, to run or or whatever you're doing um you know so it was, it was really up and down you know throughout throughout that whole process you know but learn learn a lot about myself I learned a I feel like I became a better football player because of it. You know, just just like you get to see the see the game from a different perspective. Um, you know, but it was it was definitely definitely difficult at times. Yeah, and you had a you had a couple teammates out uh, at that time too with the injuries. Uh, yeah. Season ending. Did did a lot of people or those guys give you any advice, and th did that help a lot too? Yeah. Yeah, it was it was pretty unfortunate, you know, that we had you know that many guys out, but mm -hmm. just just going through that pro going through the rehab process with them, you know, having having them there, um, you know, the guys you're close with, you definitely definitely helped a lot, you know, made it made it easier to to go through that process because everybody's everybody's going through through those same those same struggles, rehabbing, you know, trying to trying to get back right, um, no matter the injury. Um, everybody, everybody's different, but you're all still, still trying to get back healthy. So having having those teammates there, um, you know, and having having the support really from from the coaches, the training staff as well, you know, helped a lot. I think one of one of my favorite things that I've got to watch over the years with you was your first uh, like podium appearance. Uh, the way that you have grown now from speaking <laughs> at the podium, yeah. Uh, I just 
the first time I was like, man, he kind of looks a little, a little <laughs> nervous and a little uncomfortable. But that's that's definitely the Cooper that I remember. Is just yeah. like shy and like <laughs> I felt like maybe, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but like you definitely didn't want to say anything that you didn't mean or like yeah yeah how yeah I was definitely uh I was definitely a lot more like careful with with the words that I was that I was saying mm -hmm. uh, yeah that's back then because I was I was so nervous like saying the wrong thing on on TV and be you know be shown everywhere but now I've I feel like I've done it so much you know I just got more and more you know confident doing it so yeah now we got the the head and shoulders commercial yeah yeah, yeah. I was, that was like that was I was so nervous about putting that out because that was like that was like my first time uh, really like showing my my personality mm -hmm. you know social media so I, did, I was I was really nervous about that but I think I think I think people liked it yeah being being someone I feel like maybe I share this experience with a lot of people that being someone who who went to school with you we get the did you see the cooper like like did you see cooper so we get that a lot i am sure a lot of people share that experience and that the head and shoulders commercial was definitely one of them <laughs> like did you see cooper's head and, yeah i was like yeah that's that was that was a good one yeah um what what are your thoughts the the schedule release a couple of days ago um yeah. Obviously, there we knew already that you were going to be opening the season in Brazil. I mean, what a amazing rookie experience to to be able to. Yeah. Uh, do you have any thoughts on that at all? Yeah, it was. I mean, when I first got drafted there, um, you know, I was I obviously looked to see who we were playing. Now the schedule wasn't out, but that game was out, and I I realized we were going to Brazil. I was like. That's that's definitely a, a interesting start to 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 my career playing in playing mm -hmm. in the country, um, you know. So it, it'll be it'll be interesting, you know. Just the whole travel. I think it's like eleven hour flight down there. So it'll be it'll be a while on the plane, um, you know. But I'm I'm excited for it. It's definitely a unique unique opportunity, you know. And then the rest of the schedule coming out. Um, yesterday um you know it's exciting you kind of get to see where you're going you know obviously you know the the four teams you'll play twice a year in, in your division um you know but those teams outside the division and then you know seeing all the Iowa guys that that I'll get to I'll get to meet up with, um along the throughout the season um is exciting is exciting too but I'm I'm just excited to to get it back back rolling again playing mm -hmm. some football yeah, you mentioned the division. You yeah. played in a rival. You played in rival games before with Iowa State. Are you prepared for Dallas? Yeah, There's a lot that, riding on <laughs> Dallas games in in my life. They weigh a lot on whether <laughs> I'm happy or not that day. So, yeah. Um, no, that's. I've definitely gotten to know that's that's a big big rivalry. I mean uh, your your pick announcement with Brandon Grant. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. I saw I saw that, yeah. Um, you know, I one of my one of my guys I trained with actually plays for he's he's on the Cowboys right now and like I I was like reposted one of his pictures on Instagram. Mm. I'm like practicing and I I was I was hearing it from people in my in my DMs. Um, you know, so that was that was I didn't know it was to to that extent um you know but no it's it's definitely exciting to to have those those rivalry games mm -hmm. um, you know obviously Dallas had had a lot of success last year they got they got a lot of good players um I'm I'm definitely looking forward to to being a part of that yeah i mean i i have a list here of some of the quarterbacks that you're going to face with obviously Dak Prescott twice a year you play Joe Burrow yeah. Lamar Jackson Jordan Love Trevor Lawrence, I mean, <laughs> to be able to just think about that for a moment to from where you came came from, obviously yeah. a small town. I mean, to 
to be able to sit here like how surreal i mean it's not only quarterbacks like obviously you're gonna have to match yeah. up against people like cd yeah. lamb and jamar chase yeah. no it's like that. uh, yeah that's like it's crazy to think about because like those are the people you you like grew up watching like mm-hmm. whether it was like i remember watching joe burrow and when i was in high school him and him in college at at lsu just mm-hmm. You know, dicing people up, and now you get to get to go out and 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 play against those guys is is pretty 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 crazy to think about. Um, you know, because I play I played quarterback in high school, so those like some of those guys I I loved watching, like watching Lamar Jackson in, in high school when I was in high school and play at Louisville. You know, was was crazy. He was you know obviously he's he's a baller. You know, so it's crazy that you know get to get to match up against against those guys and. You know, even some of the some of the top receivers too that that those guys are those guys are are thrown to. You know, so I'm I'm excited for those challenges. What's the what do you think the coolest stadium that you played in in college besides like obviously Kenny? Yeah, um, I think the we played in the Penn State Whiteout. Yeah, this year that was that was that was a crazy atmosphere. Night game too was. Even though it was freaking, it was raining, um, you know. But that place, and then Nebraska, you know, I hate, I hate to give it to them, but <laughs> give it to them. But you know, that that place, whenever we're there, that place gets crazy. Like your ears are ringing. You know, obviously we've been pretty successful there. I, I don't think I, I didn't lose there in my my college career. Um, you know, so it's 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 cool to hear um, that ringing of the ears, and then get pretty quiet at the end of the game. Um, you know, but I've, I've played in, I've played in some, some pretty, pretty cool places in college. Yeah. Uh, you also had pretty legendary coach, uh, Phil Parker. Yep. And then now going to, uh, Fangio, I mean, very lucky to be Mm -hmm. able to, to do this. How did, how does that, um, kind of, you know, how, how lucky do you feel? Yeah, to, to be able to learn, and not only that, but you have great vets too on the yeah, defensive absolutely. side of the ball. Yeah, uh, it'll, up front and in the secondary. Yeah, it'll, it'll. I'm excited for it. Um, you know, this is like, you go from one great place to to another great place. You know, you got Coach Fangio, who's who's done it for for a really long time. Same with same with all the guys at Iowa, really. Um, you know, so just to continue to to learn from from great football minds, you know, on on the coaching staff, you know, and then even even the vets that we got, um, you know, with, with Slay and then BG um, up front, you know, just just to learn from from those guys, you know, learn how to be a be a professional, yeah. um, you know, on and and off the field, how to how to take care of your body. You know ways ways to go about you know studying um, all that type of stuff, you know. So to have guys that have done it for for a long time and and learn from them, you know, I'm I'm definitely blessed to 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 be be here in in Philadelphia for sure. How was? I know you went to. I was. It was really cool to see you at the 76ers game. Mm-hmm. Obviously, I I was really pumped to see you with Dom. Yeah. Uh, I I I saw that you. <laughs> Uh, there was a video of you in the complex of, of Dom coming up to you. I think he said, like, I, I told you you'd be back <laughs> yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, just how, I don't know. It's just really cool <laughs> yeah. uh, just to see all this stuff um, from someone who, who, I mean, I – I love Philadelphia so much, and then I'm glad I'm glad to see you get to experience all this. And, yeah. Um, what? What? Can you tell me what Dom was doing with you and and Q at that point? Yeah, he was. Well, he was. Um, he's just, he was just showing us around. Um, the he's like he's the man in Philly, so like he can yeah. he can get around get around anywhere. Um, you know, so he took us to the game. He was taking us, you know, all throughout the arena, um, you know, but he's like, he might be the most, one of the most famous people in Philadelphia, you know, he, 
he was taking pictures with everybody. You know, he had we were taking pictures for him, you know, with with other people, um, you know, but he's 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 just a he's just a cool dude to to even be around. You know, he's you know, a lot of fun to talk to, chop it up with. Um, you know, I remember when my on my visit, um, you know, coming in and, and meeting with him, just just talking to him, hearing all his stories was 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 pretty cool. Obviously, you, you saw him on he's he's a big part of or. Of of last season with the with the little little incident that he that he got it, um, you know, but just uh, just to meet him and be around him is is really cool. I I saw also, uh, I thought it was really cool. I saw in the in a video that you were talking to Coach Stoutland too. Have you had much yeah. interaction with him at all? Uh, not much. Um, you know, but the the defensive. Obviously, I talked to him um, when I first got here, but you know, and you see him around, whatever. But um, the defensive back room, like meeting room, is next to the offensive line room. Mm. So like, <laughs> we'll be sitting in our meetings and just watching tape, going over stuff, whatever. Um, and you can you can just hear him next door just screaming at at the dudes. Uh, it's <laughs> it's hilarious. We we pause our meeting just to, just to listen to what he's saying over there. It's <laughs> it's it's hilarious. Obviously, he's he's really really passionate guy, really passionate coach. Um, you know, but but he's 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 a funny guy. Yeah, I sure. mean, really really animated guy. And, yeah, uh, yeah. Definitely. There's a reason that he's so beloved in Philadelphia as well. Yeah. yeah. I don't I don't know if you've heard this at all, but the uh, you maybe, but the. The Carson Wentz trade, what it turned into. Have you heard this? Actually, I just saw, I just, it just popped up on my my Twitter or something um, uh, about about that trade. Actually, yeah. It was, so got yeah, like four guys from it yeah, or something. Yeah, like. the the Carson Wentz trade turned into AJ Brown, Jalen Carter, Devontae Smith, and Cooper DeJean. Yeah, that's 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 crazy. That's I mean. I, f- I feel like you know the Eagles got one of the the best front offices in in all of football. I know? don't I don't know if it's because I'm not in any other fan base circles or whatever, but I don't know any other fan base or GM that is as beloved as Howie Roseman. I know, I know. He's 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 so com- he's so competitive. You know, he just takes pride in in what he does. Uh, you know, you see it, you see in like the, in the draft videos, you know, just, you know, when, when they're, they're trying to trade, uh, trade around, get guys that they want, um, you know, and how, how passionate he is about doing that. Um, you know, it takes a lot of pride in it. Um, him and, and Mr. Lurie too, um, yeah. you know, those guys. So it's, it's, it's cool to be, be around people who are, who are that passionate, you know, about what they do. When when a lot of people in uh, kind of the circle or that I talk to from, you know, Ida Grove or Odie Bull or whatever, the yeah. one thing that we agreed on was that we wanted you to go to a good organization. Obviously, yeah. I got my wish out of everyone. <laughs> um, yeah. But I when I explained to people, I was like, he just went to – a team that makes advances to win and mm-hmm. they really care about um, like how he is a great GM and he, yeah. I mean, we saw it in the draft where they went and got you yeah, and uh, him and Mr. Lori were, they wanted you. And yeah. That was, crazy yeah Yeah. how does that feel to i mean you see that video that there's nothing but chills from me and uh, (laughs) it's awesome yeah no just seeing that like that makes you that makes you like want to like run through a brick wall you know as as the player you know that they're they're trying to they're trying to go get you know seeing how passionate they are about that so i think it just makes you want to want to play that much harder for for an organization when, when they care that much, you know, about getting, getting their guys, um, you know, but that was, 
that was crazy to to see you know like the the behind the scenes all that all that went into you know me me being here um but it was it was awesome it was awesome i i don't know if i mentioned this at all but the my my mom took a video of the pick getting announced of you draft yeah. of me yeah I, I didn't see it well yeah there's a reason you didn't see it. i was <laughs> i was a mess dude i was so so happy for you i also have a video like of q getting drafted i i was a little upset because i really wanted you <laughs> um but then got the got the second one and got my yeah. wish yeah <laughs> so maybe maybe i would send it to you but it would have to be uh under like nda <laughs> you never releasing it to anyone uh, yeah. Because, yeah, I was, I, so I was sitting there and then I accidentally looked at my phone and the update got to me before the TV did. Oh, yeah. So, um, it was, yeah, it was, it was not, I was very happy to, to, yeah. to say the least. Yeah. <laughs> um, you were also, I, you know, I can't get on Twitter every couple days without getting, uh, Cooper DeGene basketball highlights <laughs> somewhere. Um, so famously a multi-sport athlete, uh, track, baseball, um, obviously football and basketball. Yeah. We went to a small high school. Is there a sport that you would have played or would have wanted to at least explore if we had it, but we didn't have it? if we had it yeah so like i have Some, like hockey lacrosse yeah. or like soccer do any of those interest you and i don't know maybe want, tennis maybe la lacrosse 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 seems like it'd be it'd be pretty pretty fun to play it's it's like what is it it's, it's almost like hockey and yeah i mean it's I like, don't know ho field like hockey, hockey and... field hockey yeah I but I feel like it's I feel like it's almost a lot like like football in a sense, you know. Like you're, it's pretty it's a pretty physical game, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Lots, yeah. It's pretty physical, you know. And you get to you get to run around with the ball, make people miss. You know, I feel like if we, if we had that, that'd be that'd be something cool to try out. Obviously, that like growing up in Iowa, like nobody plays that, so. It's it's bigger in in the northeast, I think. Yeah. So, it definitely be a little more difficult to to pick up, um, you know. But to be honest, I don't even. I think I'd probably just stick with the four that I that I did. To be honest, because, hmm. I mean, growing up, you don't really you don't really play those, those other those other sports, soccer a little bit, but, you know. Yeah, it you know, always bothered me that there was no good soccer program for us yeah i was surprised we didn't have a didn't have a soccer program because a, a lot of schools around us i think do mm -hmm. really yeah uh what do you know about um famous eagles fans is there famous eagles fans yeah i've seen so i've seen one guy who like paints his face and oh yeah but what about like celebrity? Oh, celebrities? Yeah. Um, celebrities. I don't. To be honest, I don't know. Like, like got Kevin Hart. Kevin. Okay. Actually, yeah, he did mention that on. I was watching that roast. Did okay. you watch that? Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. He's he's an Eagles fan. Um, Rob McElhenney. He he commented on that that video of you. Uh, do you know who he is? I don't know. He's an uh, actor. Fun? He owns the soccer team with Ryan Reynolds. Oh, okay. Um, so we got, we got some good ones, like uh, Bradley Cooper. Oh, he's a Eagles fan? Yeah. Oh, shit. I didn't, I didn't even know that. Um, Don Staley, of course. Don Staley, yep. Um, Lil Dicky is a big Eagles fan. Really? Yeah. 
uh, are you uh, Shane Gillis? Shane Gillis. Yeah. Dude's hilarious. Yeah, he's one of my favorite um, uh, Eagles fans. He's a good one. Yeah, so I I feel like we've got a pretty solid one. Oh, yeah. Like, obviously, um, you're going to have, like, I I think ours as a lineup is is really good. Yeah, yeah, seems like it. Is it, who was the first, um, because I, like, when you were, ascending into into stardom of out of mm-hmm. iowa who was the first of that caliber to to say something mention dm or anything to you that you're like wow i can't believe they know who i am yeah um none that i can think of like off the top of my head at iowa but when i got when i got drafted um I got a message from from Mike Trout, oh, which was oh yeah he's a he's an Eagles fan as yeah well. yeah, which was which was pretty cool that um, that is so cool yeah I've like he's he's like one of my favorite baseball players ever yeah uh, I mean you know so just to get a message from him um, was was pretty cool um, shoot none that I can I can think of um, I mean I'll, I always thought it was cool. Obviously, you have someone lobbying for you on the on the staff at Pat McAfee yeah. show, but oh yeah, <laughs> I, I love whenever I watch every day. So whenever I would see something, I would just yeah. Also, I don't know if you saw this. I don't. I didn't see any clips about it, but the C.J. Stroud and uh, Micah Parsons did a draft special, like the first round. And really? they, they talked about you a decent amount of times. Really? I yeah. didn't even I didn't even see that. I was I was so where I was training, um, out in California pre draft, CJ he, he was out there for a couple of weeks and I was out there. So we were we were hooping uh a little bit. He's got he's got a little little jump shot on him. Oh um, really? Yeah, it was it was he's he's like he's like a big hooper, I guess. You know, he was he was like running fives when when he was out there and, and stuff um but no I, I didn't even i didn't even see that that clip yeah yeah there was a couple uh of cj uh pretty much telling everyone that you're a cornerback not <laughs> not a safety really <laughs> yeah yeah That's so cool. i thought that was cool yeah um what what advice would you give like parents that you felt like your parents did a good job with navigating keeping sports fun, but also being able to push you in that direction, a good yeah. balance. What what did your parents do well with you? Yeah, I think I think just not not limiting me to to the sports I could I could play. Um, you know, and you know, teaching me, teaching me how to, how to have fun with it, but also, you know, keeping me, keeping me competitive, um, and, you know, teaching me, like, you know, if you, if you want to be good at a sport, like, there's, there's work that has to, has to go, go into it, you know, so they always, they always push me to, to work hard at, you know, the things that, that I wanted to do, and that I loved, um, which sports was, was a big part of, of, is a big part of my life, um, you know, so I think, I think nowadays, like people are trying to, like just focus on, on one sport, but, I mean, I think there's there's so many, um, you know, positives about you know playing playing multiple sports. I think you know, especially especially growing up when you're when you're young, um, as as a kid, you know, just because every every sport helps what helps the other. I think you know, just like like speed hand-eye coordination change of direction you know especially as a little kid like those are the things that that you need um you know so i think i think that's like the biggest thing is my parents to just not limit me to to what i what sports i could i could play you know growing up yeah um i do before we we get you out of here i i want to say that 
my obviously my nephew is a massive massive yeah. cooper DeGene fan he, <laughs> uh i i told you this but a little a little story for the podcast uh, he was very upset before uh, in the pre-draft because he didn't think the eagles were going to take you because nolan smith was number three <laughs> and uh he he was worried that you weren't going to get drafted because number three was not available um but also what you 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 gave him a video for his birthday and um i taken many pictures with him and i just yep. want to say thank you uh Absolutely. for that and so it's super cool to as much as i would like to to be um cool in his eyes i, ha- I have <laughs> to compete with a nfl player now um so <laughs> but i do appreciate it and i appreciate yeah. you taking the time to hold on we gotta we gotta tell the tell the podcast about our our hooping days you know, back, oh, back. What, what do you want to tell them? Because we, no, nah, we used to, we used to, we used to play in a, in a league, mm-hmm. Sioux City League. You yeah. remember? Of course. And we, we won it, how many, we won it like two or three years in a row. Yeah. I, and, I do, I do want to say, I, I have talked to people about this. The first year <laughs> that we did it, um, I don't know if we lost to Sergeant Bluff. Yeah. Yeah. And that that that's very tough for me to think about. Yeah, I I still I can still remember the the last shot that I took. I freak, it was a deep shot. I freaking airballed it. I airballed it to to try and tie the game or win the game one of the two. But no, that was that was definitely a, a I tough. mean, we definitely we definitely had a good a good run as as teammates. What how would you cuz people they're never gonna believe me. I, I <laughs> what would you rate my my basketball skills? Yeah. I'd say Wait, break down my game. Yeah, I'll break down your game a little bit. <laughs> but I'd say definitely definitely a like a creator. You know, a guy who can bring bring the ball up the floor, penetrate and 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 dish, you know, type type player okay. who can you know who can always also step out and 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 shoot the three. I, I think that's how that's how I I think I think you're a pass first type guy. Always always trying to you know get guys easy buckets. Um, you can you can score when when you want. That's how that's how I break you down probably. I always I think about I don't do you remember our sophomore year the ESAT game? Yeah. That was, yeah. I think that was a, a accurate representation <laughs> of, I mean, one of the one of my f- favorite games because it was like, because you played varsity freshman year. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, and I didn't play until sophomore year, and so that game was like early in the year, and I was doing dirty work there. Yeah. Yeah. Defense, I remember. Yeah, loose balls. <laughs> yeah, um, that I feel like that was an accurate representation. Yeah, was yeah. that also the game where you tried to dunk off of like an <laughs> inbound or something? I don't know. Do you know what I'm talking about? I don't know if that was the game or not. That was like, you remember Cam Cam Schrader. Mm-hmm. That was like when I had very, very little bounce. Yeah. I mean, I, you never had very little bounce. <laughs> but, but not as much as I did like the. Yeah. Uh, I, I remember you dunking on Mason Knopp after lunch <laughs> uh, yeah. in middle school on a nine foot hoop. <laughs> no, that was. We got a lot of, a lot of great memories from when we were younger. Yeah. I'll. Scooping. Yeah. Oh, I, I did want to tell you, I don't know if I've ever told you this, but I used to play AU basketball with uh, Carson Char. Really? With attack? Yeah, I played with attack. Really? We had our attack team. Uh, we had Tanner Henningsen, who is 
he's a manager for the yeah. Iowa women's. Yep. And yep. then um, we had two, we had the t- Hoiberg twins. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then, oh, uh, uh, and then I remember playing Marcus Morgan. Yeah. Um, which I didn't know until not too long ago that uh, he's. The, the Hoiberg twins are at Nebraska, I think, now. Yeah. One of yeah. them. One of them is, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But, yeah, I, I just. I mean, I only played like a year with them, but yeah. I always thought it was cool that he went yeah. on to play at Iowa for yeah. football. It's crazy. Yeah. It's a small world. Yeah. Uh, well, I appreciate you coming on. Um, Absolutely. Reminiscing at the end. That was that was really yeah. great. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But I, I wish you all nothing but the but the best and two Dallas wins a year for me. Yeah. Um, They're going to try. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I appreciate you and um, much love and yeah, thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. So no much. problem. Appreciate you having me.